Jedi Knights and Sith Lords, and welcome to Star Wars Artifacts. My name is Dominic, aka Lord Doom, and today we'll be reviewing the Asajj Ventress Refocus Legacy Lightsaber that we almost saw in the Clone Wars animated series. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button to help me continue my work. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are available in the description below. The Asajj Ventress refocused Legacy lightsaber is sold since May 2022 on Batu West. It arrived a few weeks later on Batu East. It is priced at 160 credits or 210 Canadian dollars. You will also need to purchase one 36 inch blade for 50 credits. That will make for a grand total of 210 credits or 270 Canadian dollars. All those items can be found at Back on Mars Day of Antiquities at the Black Spire Outpost. Enough talking, let's start the review. Let's start by taking a closer look at the box. As you can see, the box used is white instead of grey. As for the Luminara Unduli's lightsaber, black accents have also been added. The box size is the biggest of the two formats. In the middle, we notice the Scandrel logo. The yellow background indicates that the blade color will be yellow. Once the box is opened, we can see the lightsaber on the black sheet. As I mentioned in my Mole Shadow Collective lightsaber review, Asajj Ventress was the first owner of this lightsaber. She bought it in a market after she returned to the light side of the Force. After her death, Mole picked it up from her tomb on Datumir, where she was buried. If you want to learn more on that story, I strongly recommend you read the Dark Disciple novel in which she has a romantic relation with Quinlan Voss. This story was originally supposed to be an arc in the Clone Wars animated series, but it was cancelled before being completed. As a matter of fact, the images you just saw were concepts from the series. Below the black sheet, you would find a connector and an allen key. So, it is possible to create a double-bladed version with Dark Mole's lightsaber from the Phantom Menace. This could be an interesting option if you want to wield a double-bladed lightsaber with two different blade colors. Taking a closer peek at the lightsaber, we can notice that it has four distinct sections. The emitter a central section where the activation button is located, the grip, and the pommel. The emitter is made of aluminum, and the perforated portion is made of metal. Through the holes, you can see wires, and when the lightsaber is activated, you can even see the illuminated kyber crystal. The portion where the activation button is located is also made of aluminum and metal. The only plastic part is the activation button itself. You can still see wires through the perforated parts. The grip seems to be covered with an adhesive texture. This makes it perfect for handling the saber like any force user would. The slots that cover the grip contribute to helping with the handling. Behind, you will find a cover tech ring, so you can attach it to a belt clip. The pommel is also made of metal, but has a brushed finish. The grey inserts with the black stripes are made of plastic. You must unscrew the pommel to access the battery pack. To function, the Sabre requires three AAA batteries. The saber has a length of 13.5 inches or 34 centimeters. 
Only Ahsoka Tano's big lightsaber hilt from Rebels and the Mandalorian series is longer than this one in the Legacy Collection. When activated, you can hear the same sounds as the Jedi Temple Guard's lightsabers. Through the perforated parts, you can clearly see the yellow kyber crystal. On flash, the blade will flash white. I am a bit perplexed about this new lightsaber. It has never been seen on the big or small screen and was definitely not at the top of my list of priority. When you think of it, Disney could have put an extra button on the Mole Shadow Collective lightsaber to change the color of the blade and the crystal. After all, Disney has already done it with the Ahsoka Tano lightsabers from the Clone Wars animated series. Let me know what you think of the Asajj Ventress refocused lightsaber. Will you add it to your collection? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it on your social media. Until then, join me next week for another review, and may the Force be with you, always. Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Thank you.